I do. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm reminding everybody to keep their voices up. All right. It's just difficult to hear in here. So if we remind you, um, please project. Could you please state your name? Adam Lippa. Could you spell your last name for us, please? L-I-P-P-A. How are you employed? For the Vermont State Police. When did you begin working for the Vermont State Police? In July 2018. Have you worked for other police agencies? Prior to that, I worked for the Burlington Police Department from January 2015 until I started with the state. What station have you been assigned to since you became a trooper? The St. Albans Barracks. Were you working for the Vermont State Police on October 19th of 2021? I was. Was that in St. Albans? Yes, ma'am. And at that time, were you asked to respond to uh, Meadowbrook Lane in the city of St. Albans? Yes, it was actually the late evening of the 18th, but okay. same time frame. Thank you. Who asked you to respond to that location? Sergeant Paquette. What information were you given, if anything, about why you were going to that location? I was asked to see if there was a white minibus there uh, and advised it may have been used in a crime, but there was not yet probable cause to seize it. And around what time were you asked to do that? I was asked at about 10.45 p.m. on the evening of the 18th. Did you go to that location? I did. Do you remember what time you arrived? It was about 11 o'clock that night. Was the minibus there? It was. Did you see anyone in it? I did not. Did you see anyone outside of it? I did not. How long were you there? Before other people showed up? Yes. Uh, it was about another 40, 45 minutes, I believe. And during that time, did anybody leave the van? No. Did anyone enter the van? No. Did anyone move the van? No. So you said about 40 minutes after you arrived, some other folks arrived. Is that? Uh, I did say that. I, I think it was actually like an hour and 40 minutes. An, OK. And who arrived? Uh, at one point early on, Trooper Berkovic kind of came as I was sitting there. <coughs> um, and then about an hour and 40 minutes later, Sergeant Paquette and Captain Hill, I think, along with a few other troopers, arrived. And what was discussed when everybody arrived, um, when everybody was congregated? There was a discussion of doing a protective sweep of the inside of the van. And did that happen? It did. What information, if any, had been conveyed to you about why you might be going in the van? Dispatch advised that there was a phone call they received uh, indicating that the defendant's wife was deceased inside the van. When you said that you were doing a protective sweep, what were you looking for? We were looking for a, a person that was in distress in need of medical care. Who entered the van? Sergeant Paquette, myself, and Trooper Berkovic. Who went first? Sergeant Paquette. And who went second? I did. And third? Trooper Berkovic. Can you describe for the jury what the interior of the van looks like? Yeah, it, I can kind of best describe it as a converted mini school bus. So it had the doors that open similar to how you'd get on a school bus. Uh, when you're standing on the stairway going up into it, the driver's compartment would be on your right. And then towards the left, it was converted. Instead of having seats in there like a normal school bus, there was kind of still the center aisle with a small kitchen on one side, 
uh, bathroom shower on the other side and as you made your way kind of towards the back of it there was a bed with storage above it and below it did you see a human body in the van i did not where was sergeant pocket looking so he initially entered the van and kind of went towards the back went in made a left and went towards the back uh, near where the bed was set up and where were you looking? I was kind of in the middle, middle portion of the van. And what about uh, Trooper Berkovic? He was behind me, um, kind of just dealing with the entryway. And How would you describe the condition of the van? It was certainly lived in, uh, a little cluttered, but not nothing jumped out as being broken or you know, in disrepair, you could tell the bed was unmade. There were some containers out on the cabinet. You know, it didn't didn't show signs that there was a fight or anything that, that screamed out at me. Was there a mattress on the bed? There was. And were, uh, was there bedding on the bed? There was. It it was not like a made up bed, but there were pillows and bedding and sheets. It looked like a bed that someone had slept in and Can you describe where in the van the bathroom is located? So as you enter the van you make a left and you're if you're facing the back of it, it would then be on your left hand side. And um is there any sort of a doorway or anything that blocks the, the bathroom from the rest of the van? I believe there was a shower curtain. Do you, um, did you look in the bathroom? I did. And can you please describe to the jury what you saw in the bathroom area? There's a small toilet, a small shower, and on the floor of the shower, there were a number of black trash bags kind of stacked up. Could you see inside the trash bags? I could not. <clears throat> were they tied or were they open? They were tied shut. Do you recall how many there were? I, there were enough that they were mounded up, um, but I did not get a count. And did you do anything with the trash bags? I picked the top trash bag up just to verify that there was no way Emily was somehow <laughs> tucked under there. Uh, and then I placed it back down. Can you describe what that top bag felt like to you when you lifted it up? It felt light and it was kind of puffy looking, so it, it looked like there were maybe pillows or some type of lighter bedding. And um, did you lift any other trash bags? <clears throat> I did not. Did you move any other trash bags? I did not. How long were you in the van? I would say between five and 10 minutes. And what did you do when you left the van? Uh, I stood by with the van and ultimately at Captain Hill's direction arranged for it to be towed back to the barracks. I then stayed with it until it was towed back. In October of 2021, did Vermont State Pol Police give troopers body worn cameras? Yes. And did you have one in October of 2021? Yes. Was it running? It was. Have you reviewed your body camera footage, um, which the state pre-marked as State's Exhibit 5 prior to testifying today? I have. And is that a fair and accurate representation of the van as you saw it on October 19th of 2021? It is. Your Honor, the state would move to admit State's Exhibit 5 and see it. No objections. No objections. State Exhibit 5 is admitted. Yes. And without objection. Can they all see it? Is there any sort of a glare? Okay. Stacy, you have to see it. I hope 
Okay, please, hello?
Um. Super Lipa, I'm showing you what I have marked as stage 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Could you take a look at those and tell me if you recognize them? They appear to all be screenshots from the video that was just played. And are those screenshots a fair and accurate representation of your body camera? They are. Your Honor, the state would move to admit states 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Any objection, Ms. Johnson? No objection. <clears throat> uh, states 6 through 11 are admitted without objection. Your Honor, I have no other questions for Trooper Lippa. Okay. Thank you, Trooper. Thank you. So, Judge, before if we could just publish those exhibits for the yeah. jury. Sure. You want to publish them by hand or on the? They're right here. Yeah. Okay. 